In this short video clip, we can process the data analysis questions, just quickly talking through the strategy for the problem solving involved here. The information we would need is the, the information up above here coming from your graph. So in the previous video, we talked about how to generate this information. From my graph, the classic curve, 25.56 mils. Remember how we had labeled that? So 25.56 mils, just recording from our data table. In my first derivative, I had 34.92. That's by far an outlier. And in the third graph, I had 26.08 mils. So significantly graph 1 and 3 agree, but I do have graph 2. But whatever it comes out to be, your information by far is going to be more accurate. Remember that I simply made numbers up to give a flavor of a curve to show processing. I'm going to add up these three values, divide by 3, and come up with a 28.85 mil average. That's what we're going to need to carry on some information down here. So data analysis one, we want to calculate the molar amount of solid potassium hydrogen pathalate used to neutralize the NaOH. So this is where, from the beginning part of our pre-lab discussion, we knew that we had to weigh out 1.02 grams of KHP. Did you accurately weigh out 1.02 grams? or simply start with that value. I mean, this was our target, but if you had 1.03, 1.00, whatever it might be, that's the starting value for when we come here. So I had 1.02 grams of KHP. To convert that to a mole, we know that we have uh, just a little mole map problem. One mole of KHP over its molar mass. And all we've done here is converted grams to moles. Just a simple mole map problem for data analysis one. We did 204 from our pre-lab question, so I'll just borrow that from our pre-lab discussion. So 1.02 divided by the molar mass of 204, and I have 0 0.005 moles. In step two, now we're trying to solve for the molar concentration of NaOH that we prepared. So knowing that this is the solution stoichiometry part of our lesson, we have a one-to-one -one stoichiometric ratio. That one mole of our standardized NaOH will be neutralized for every one mole of the KHP that we've had. So here's the heart of our problem, a one-to-one -one ratio. Knowing that molarity is defined as moles per liter, I'm going to put the average value for the equivalence point down below in a liter, 0 0.02885 liters of NaOH at the equivalence point, and process that. 0 0.005 times 1 over 1 divided by 0 0.02885, your average value, and mine came up 0.1733 molar. This is my actual molarity that we solved for during the process of titration. Now remember, we were aiming for a 0.2 molar. When we weighed out our sample of sodium hydroxide, remember this, it's not our fault. We weighed out 2.4 grams of NaOH, but because sodium hydroxide absorbs water, it's hygroscopic, it absorbs water from the air, not all of this 2.4 grams of NaOH is truly NaOH. There's plenty of water adding to this weight. So the molarity, it makes sense that it's under the tar target, 0.173 is under. So our value of 1.73 molar, excuse me, 0.173 molar, 0.173 molar is slightly less than the target of 0.2 molar. And again, that is well explained and it's well expected since the NaOH had water adding to its weight. You've now completed your lab report. You've answered the three data questions. And if you have a printed copy of all three graphs, first, second derivative, along with the classic curve, you have indeed finished the lab report.